trouble and it is St. Arvins who has the advantage over Trooper Turnbull. We look set for a bit of a shock in our first race heading towards the final flight. It is St. Arvins tackled by Trooper Turnbull. Trooper Turnbull away to the right on the left is St. Arvins. They've come well clear of Chevello who's in third place and held a good battle though to the line between Trooper Turnbull, the yellow sleeves and St. Arvins down the near side as they race into the final 50 yards. St. Arvins and Trooper Turnbull nothing in it. Very close indeed for our own way to the line from here. Heart of Steel who made that move has the advantage. Is a across the final flight about two lengths ahead. Universal Folly certainly hasn't given up towards the outside as they race into the final half furlong of the journey. Heart of Steel and Brian Hughes along the inside of Universal Folly and Ryan Day, but Heart of Steel is just doing best on the run to the line and Heart of Steel goes on to record a I don't need to know. Illuminated Beauty is now being called upon for her effort. She's moved into third ahead of Darius Day Source and then Chanting Hill, the red sleeves and cap towards the outside is picking up, but making the run in between the last two fences and don't need to know in the hands of Ryan Mania has struck the front from the long time pace set a road warrior then illuminated beauty and chanting hill a good jump at the final fence there from don't need to know has a full on uphill on the flat to see it out now don't need to know from illuminated beauty and a staying on chanting hill out wide back in behind the road warriors beaten and chanting hill is gathering up ahead of steam here to mow down don't need to know on the run to the finish and it's chanting hill in the hands of lucy alexander towards the home straight it is some chaos who leads up to in second position on the outside, Claude and Goldie. Chidswell about to be played, the red jacket, and Lebroy sticking on in there towards the outer. So the four who are left, they've all got some sort of chance as they straighten up for home in what's been an eventful renewal of the Edinburgh Gin Chase. Some chaos to the inside would probably be an apt winner with up towards the outer, Claude and Goldie. Here's Chidswell with a run as they come to the last of the open ditches, and Lebroy towards the outside is uh, back in behind them as they make the run up the hill now towards the final fence. Claude and Goldie in the light green. Some chaos towards the the inner the black sleeves and cap chidswell is now pushed along back in third trying hard to get on terms with them and lebroy has dropped to fourth and last some chaos comes towards the final fence in front and is over by two lengths there to claude and goldie chidswell at the moment not making any impression on them and back in fourth lebroy and they're racing into the closing stages it is some chaos in the hands of ben post his only ride on the card punching out some chaos towards the line is going to win this race this feature race of the day here uh, for trainer michael scudamore and it's some chaos home in front back-to-back -back wins in the race for the at Shaw's Bridge and then towards the outside Bal Rennells picking up along the inside in light and the yellow cap as they make the journey on up the hill towards the final flight of hurdles and it is Rob Royal under Fergus Gregory now with the attentions of a loose horse but crosses the final flight safely and clearly to enlighten then Shaw's Bridge is keeping on only at the one pace as is Grey Gurley towards the outer Bal Rennell follows those and racing into the closing stages if anything this loose horse is probably just doing this leader a favor Rob Royal having his concentration kept on the job the revs up Rob Royal is home in front today, beating Enlighten into second, Grey Gurley in third, close for the mark, comes to the front, from Min Gold who's now trying to battle back along the inside they remain clear of Dolly Dancer back in third, 150 yards left to go, it is Musia Ko in the hands of the champion jockey Brian Hughes, now beginning to draw away from Mint Gold in second and it's a double on the afternoon for Brian as Musia Ko records a second course win, beating in, and a little break then, as they come around the corner to Wise Coco who straightens up in fifth place, and then follows war at sea from touched by an angel who's now trying hard to close in from the back get help follows those it's quite a wide open race as they come to the final open ditch two from home and cedar hill jumping well there along the inside to join court gerardo southeast rose is now one pace back in behind them then motara bet wise coco and in behind those battling away is the gray touched by an angel as they head towards the final fence and cedar hill has moved through to take a three to four length lead and quite comfortably as well wise coco finishing off quite nicely towards the outside outside goes second. Cedar Hill is across the final fence. Not quite home yet. Wise Coco is giving chase. Back in third is Court Gerardo who's now looking well held. Cedar Hill is just pushed out hands and heels on the run to the line and is comfortably now seeing off his rivals. And it is Cedar Hill for the locally trained Sadie Thompson. He's going on to win this in good style. Cedar Hill and Orion Top Legend who's ridden hard towards the outer. Then put the law on you from final fling. Then Handy Hollow who's been patiently handled by Theo Gillard but beginning to uh, cut through the pack a little more now as they cross the third flight from home and it was Dove Deschamps who slowed up a little bit going into that and Jesse Mack is now on the attack always tipsy back in third and then in fourth Law Top Legend ahead of LA Grand who's now caught upon for maximum effort Emirata Katana follows those then Handy Hollow who is 
still beginning to catch the eye. They're up towards the outside in a blue coloured jacket as they make the journey left handed into the home straight. And it is Jesse Mac, Dove Deschamps, the leading two. They're booting away from Always Tipsy in third. Then Handy Hollow, who's now being called upon to go. Along the inside next is Law Top Legend from Emirata Katana. Then final fling. LA Grand won't be winning today. Patiga Nash trying to stay on. Jesse Mack at two out. Hopped over with a three length lead and was more fluent than Dove Deschamps. Handy Hollow now taking a dispute of third with Always Tipsy. Away to the far right is Law Top Legend. But it's Jesse Mack on the run to the final flight and she's out on her own. She's got a lead standing at around about eight or nine lengths to Dove Deschamps. Handy Hollow the blue jacket. Then Always Tipsy. But Jesse Mack is at the last now and she's up and over safely and clearly. Handy Hollow now stays on to go second from Always Tipsy. Dove Deschamps, green zone running on from a long way back. That horse up in trip today appears to be relishing it and is really flying along the inside. But Jesse Mack is out in front and going close home. She will score. Jesse Mack in the hands of Alexander Thorne.